Yes, your smartphone can cost you your security clearance. I've gotten a lot of pitches in the past couple weeks to a month with the Olympics rolling out talking about the rise of gambling websites and how they're expecting more amateur bettors, not amateur athletes, amateur bettors, to be betting on the Olympics this year. There's a lot more mobile betting platforms um, getting more legal betting options going across the U.S., kind of the same way we're seeing the decriminalization of marijuana at the state level. States are getting into the gambling game, trying to pull in some revenue, and a lot more betting apps out there using smartphones. So they're saying they expect more folks bidding on the Olympic Games. It's not really a professional bettor's favorite because it's a harder to figure out the odds of the Olympic Games, if Simone Biles is an example of that. Sometimes the folks you go into the games expecting to be the big winners for a variety of circumstances don't always perform. So if you are an amateur better, getting on your smartphone and scoring things up, and if you have a security clearance, that could be an issue for you for a couple of reasons. Gambling does come up in security clearance denials and revocations. It's why we see financial issues being the top cause of security clearance denial, and the type of debt does matter. If you are getting really involved in a gambling habit. It's a concern for a couple of different reasons, reliability, trustworthiness. You might be trying to hide that debt from a spouse. So you could find yourself in a position of wanting to get rid of that debt and access to classified information. Certainly we know that Russia, China, foreign countries are also tracking what goes on in this, on these apps where I start to get, you know, go down the slippery slope of OPM data breach data, foreign ownership or investment in a lot of these platforms where you can place bets, you can bet that they are correlating that data together. And so if you have a security clearance holder who starts to kind of get triggered and get involved in a lot of this online gambling, China knows. Just don't think it's between you and the app. It is between you and potentially a third party um, of a government entity or a Chinese or Russian intelligence service. So bet responsibly, bet within the legal parameters. Don't bet your house, quite literally. Don't overcommit yourself. Um, make sure you're transparent and don't lose any more money than you would want to disclose to someone you know and love or to your facility security officer. Next, also make sure you're adhering to what the tax man requireth. So also wrote about that on the Clarence Jobs news site in the past week, IRS cracking, cracking down on cryptocurrencies as we've covered here. It's not just the, the reality of an investment in crypto, but how if are you properly disclosing those debts, that's more likely to get you a security clearance issued in your investment portfolio itself. It's are you using those currencies to defy or hide money or circumvent tax laws? So gamble on the Olympics, good luck, but do it safely, do it wisely, do it within your financial means. For more about gambling, the adjudicative criteria, and why espionage continues to be a major issue and how foreign adversaries are after our data, check out our news at clearancejobs.com.